this is uh, the annual Grade 1 Math Olympics. Um, it's an event that uh, features a combination of uh, the first graders' math curriculum with uh, activities and skills that they, that they learn and practice in a physical education class. First they come in, they have their flags, they play the uh, Olympic music. I'm holding a couple flags here that the first graders made. They play the Olympic theme music. Do some warm-ups together, uh, counting off by twos, fives, and tens. This year we're uh, adding shapes. Each kid has their own Chinese jump rope, and we practice making those stretchy uh, jump ropes into different shapes that they're learning about this year. On to some group activities. We play uh, three card tag, which involves uh, addition, uh, addition practice, as well as chasing, fleeing, and dodging, which is a phys ed skill. So we played this before. Everyone gets three, including the taggers. Remember when someone tags you? Genevieve, you want to help? Come here, Genevieve. So let's say I'm a tagger and I tag Genevieve. Stop, and of course, remember to play fair. Someone tags you, be honest. Okay, remember you add up your three cards. Nineteen, okay, and I have twelve. So who has the higher number? Daddy! So she gets the arm ball. The person with the higher number gets it. If I had the higher one, I'd keep it. Then we play uh, some number dribble. Again, they practice their addition skills where they learn how to where they work on dribbling a basketball. hour or so is uh, um, stations. They have 10 different stations. Um, they have an odd and even balance beam. They have jump rope for cash. They have a uh, human clock. These are all uh, skills that they're practicing in math class, such as uh, being able to read a clock, um, being able to count money. Uh, again, addition, subtraction, um, 
differentiating between odd and even numbers and things along those lines. All right, so starting here, two-point addition basketball. We did this during class. Shoot all the bean bags. Whenever you score, you add up the numbers that's on the bean bag. You get five shots, and then you switch with the goalie. After that, you choose either odd or even numbers. Okay, and don't go to the next station until you hear my whistle. Okay, you're gonna walk across only stepping on odd or even numbers. You're gonna make a clock. So let's say it's 1.30. The person who's shorter is gonna be the hour hand. The person who's a little taller can be the minute hand. And you have to lie down on the ground, who's ever here can, can help them do that. You have to lie down on the ground to show, let's say, 1.30. So the kids can show the time, and then they have to do it with their bodies. You gotta run and jump, and whatever number you get to, so I got past three, you add them up, and you can use the number line here to add them up. So take three jumps. All right, it says here, you're gonna add your three scores together. In the corner, you're gonna invent your own math game. All right, you have some number spots. You have two hoops, you have a turtle, and three pins. So you and your group are gonna think of making up your own game. Choose either the 10 ball, the five ball, or the two ball, the numbers on the ball. You can either dribble, 10, 20, 30, 40. You can practice shooting, 10, 20, doesn't matter if you make it or not. Caught off by the number that's on your ball. So you have to stay on the red line near the cone. There's gonna be a black ball on the red line there. Each pin has a coin. It has either a penny, a nickel, quarter, or dime. Whichever pins you knock over, you add up your money. Every 10 jumps, put the rope down. Without peeking, you take one coin without peeking. And then you put it on the number strip, and then you and your partner can add up as you go and add up the number of the amount of money you have. This is five point basketball. Each bean bag here is worth five points. And whatever you score, you add up your your amount. <laughs>
too. Thank you very much. Appreciate all your help. I have a math Olympic ribbon for everyone. You guys did a great job today. What do you say? I love the way you guys not only had fun, I like the way you got along so well with the, your, your partners during the stations and how well you followed the rules and were great listeners at the beginning during the warm ups. So you guys give yourselves uh, give yourselves a hand. Nice job. You have to have your gym shoes off, guys. Take your gym shoes off. You're welcome. Thank <laughs> you.